Thanks a lot, Danielle. If you go to Smoky Mountain National Park, you'll have lots of choices when it comes to overnight accommodations. You can rough it at a campsite or live it up in luxury at a hotel or choose a B&B &B that offers a little pampering in a natural setting. We found such a place that's highly recommended in more ways than one. Of course, everyone wants to stay in a room with a great view and the Grace Hill Inn here has one of the most fantastic in the Smoky area. But of course, to get to the top, you gotta be prepared to climb. It's a steep climb, winding up the side of Little Round Top Mountain. You might even wonder if you'll make it. Well, there's an encouraging sign. Once you arrive, you'll discover what Traveler Magazine called the best view from a B&B &B in the country. Sitting on the border of the National Park, Grace Hill B&B &B is the highest home in the entire area. I am just very blessed to be here in Townsend, to be in the Smokies and have the view that I have. And it changes every five minutes, it's never the same. When owner Kathy Janke found the site for sale in the late 1990s, she knew she'd found the ideal spot for her dream home. The B&B &B was an afterthought. When I made the offer on this property, ironically, they took my first offer and this is the one piece of property I would have paid more for because I knew that it was what I wanted. What I wanted was a westerly view for my main deck and that's what I got here. Grace Hill was two and a half years in the making. Although she hired a professional contractor, Kathy and her brother handled the stacked stonework, all 200 tons of it, as well as all the elaborate landscaping which incorporates water throughout the design. They also handled all the painting, wallpapering, and tiling. The B&B's four rooms are distinctively decorated with antique furniture, original art, and creatively chosen colors. But when urged to name the rooms, Kathy was perplexed for a while. Well, on someone walking through one day, he walked into the bedroom with the red ceiling and said, oh my gosh, it's Casablanca. And I looked at him and I said, oh yeah, and the room next door is Key Largo. I guess I was thinking of Humphrey Bogart, which is ironic because I didn't buy my first TV until I was 44 years old. So I was not into the old movie thing, but ultimately that's what we named the rooms. The master bedroom on the main level is all Italian antiques and we kind of went with that scrolly work. So I thought, well, Roman holiday fits there. It became a little harder when I put the fourth bedroom in, I realized that it was not only old movie names, but they were also places and I had been to Africa and taken pictures of Kilimanjaro. So that's a movie, The Snows of Kilimanjaro, but who wants to spend their honeymoon in the snows of Kilimanjaro? <laughs> so I went with Spellbound and I love Gregory Peck. So we kind of got away from places there, but that's how we came up with the names to the bedroom. The B&B offers many other amenities, including places to read, enjoy the solitude, or even exercise thanks to this modern, well-equipped workout room. And then there's breakfast. Good morning. Breakfast will be served in 24 minutes on the front veranda. Always a highlight of any visit to Grace Hill, and always a display of Kathy's culinary competence. Breakfast every morning is different. I keep track of what my guests eat and I try to never repeat a menu. Now there's only so many different fruits out there, so at some point when you've been here 30 bed nights, I'm repeating that you get an apple, but I try to cook it a different way. Today's breakfast starts with popovers from a recipe that requires just the right ingredients and timing. You vent them and eat them within two or three minutes. If not, you have little rubber baby bunkers that you can bounce off the wall. <laughs> The second course is a caramelized pear pistachio, and the third course is a caramelized onion, red pepper, baby potato, smoked gouda frittata with sausage on the side. 
When the weather's nice, coffee, juice, and breakfast are served on the spacious deck, complete with that fantastic view. It was interesting to converse with guests from all over the country who had come in search of their ideal Smoky Mountain adventure. My locals tend to spend more time on the property. My guests that come from all over the world are more inclined to head out into the park and do Cades Cove or Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail or go hiking or things like that. When I get people on the phone that say, well, if I'm here for two nights, is there something to keep me busy? You know, I found myself saying, well, oh my gosh, I can keep you busy for a week. Then again, it may be hard to leave when your holiday home is a mountain retreat like this. And while guests come to Grace Hill from all over the world, actually, the most gratifying part for Kathy is they keep coming back. I love my work. Uh, my guests also allow me to live in my own home. So yeah, it's, it's a joy.